Welcome back everybody to Life in Bunker. I'm IGP and today we're going to start again. I know I did terrible on the last run. It's understandable. I feel like it's forgivable. Guys, calm down. No need for an alarm. We're going to start a new one. Now, the tip I got is that I should do it in the scenarios menu. Uh, the survive for 50 cycles because apparently originally it was supposed to be you play the game in sandbox or whatever and you survive for 50 cycles and you technically beat the game. In the sandbox mode you don't start with the stuff that you normally started with in the old versions of the game. Survive is going to be reminiscent of that old version. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we can do this and uh, at least we still have a clear objective. Again we're going to go ahead and call our bunker Indy's Bunker and we're going to go ahead and create. All right, this is definitely reminiscent of the old versions. I'm super happy and pleased with the structure of this. We actually have rooms with doors. We have storage. We got all the stuff that we need right here. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make sure we can maintain the 10 people that we have now first and then start growing more babies and add to the water, to the power. I do like how we have all these meters up here, like I said in the last episode. It's going to be super helpful to make sure we don't die from starvation, shitting on ourselves, sleeping on floors, injuries from mole men, whatever the hell else we can die from in this game, which is pretty much everything. Do not worry. We got this. So I'm going to start out. Let's look for mining stuff. Okay, so we got mining stuff over here. I'm going to go ahead and go with both. To be honest with you, why not? Get all the building materials we possibly can. We still have 800. Right now, I'm going to sculpt out a few rooms. Back here, I'm thinking maybe kitchen, dining area, as well as farming area. We'll get that to expand a little bit. We got to make sure we get some walls and uh, floors down as well. And then a research table because we got to get rid of some of these things that are going to be in the way. And I think straight back from this door, we'll make it as symmetrical as possible or even as possible. Okay, we'll set those to go. And I think that's good. I enjoy this right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. Now, you guys have advised me to stop with the... Uh, oh, we don't have any workers. That's right. I got to do that first. Duh. They all had jumpsuits on. I assume they were working. Okay, so we don't need any scientists just yet. We don't have anything for that. Let's go ahead and put everyone to workers since there's nothing to clean up. And we can change their jobs on the fly. Let's go ahead and do that. Everyone is a worker. You guys advise me to stop using the multi-fast forward. I will do my best to not do that. Sometimes I get impatient, but I'll try to keep it on just the space bar. And we should be golden. All right, these guys are hard at work. I'm ready to set down some tiles. It's very important that we get that going as well. We don't want cave-ins. That's going to be terrible. And since everything else is red right now, should be okay. We're just absolutely kicking ass, taking names. No problem at all. Everybody's a worker. This is a nice tip. I wish I, I'm very sorry. I wish I would have taken down your guys' names who gave me these tips. Then again, everyone gives me pretty much the same tips, and I, and I suck at taking them and, and actually applying them to my gameplay. But yeah, the putting everybody on a specific job if you want something done quickly is is a really efficient thing, and I can appreciate that. Let's get some walls down here, and then this room will be complete for now. We can always break down the walls later if we decide we don't want them. That's going to look amazing. Okay, so now we're going to work on this one. Once this is done, uh, I'm going to focus on getting the mining stuff up. I think I might have made a mistake. Oh, yeah, we got we to gotta make sure. Hold on. We got to make sure we can get out to the mining area. That's going to be important. So I'm going to sculpt out these to make sure we get walls around them. Uh, this is going to be a wall, which we can't get. Eh, I don't know. We'll figure this out. Okay, that should be enough room to manage both of those if we need to. We can even have the refinery down here. But I think that should be fine. Let me go ahead and activate that. Okay, and then finish up this room over here. See, earthquake. Yeah, I get it. Okay, you know, I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my very, very best. Oh, yeah, kick its ass, dude. Kick its ass. <laughs> All right, this room is done. All right, let's go ahead and put down some kitchen stuff. We're going to need to do that. Residential zone. Kitchen. Right here is fine. And then two tables. Bam. And we can expand down here to go with uh, production and such. Uh, I want to have the research vessel over here. We need to get that quick. Production. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No. Residential zone. Research station. Kind of just right. Yeah. It seems like it's in the way. Oh, well. We'll just put it right here for now. You know what? Let's sculpt out in it. Can I do that? I can't. Damn it. We got to get the research station first. You know what? Fuck it. Let's put the research station. I don't even care, dude. Does it matter? Why am I so picky about shit like that? Let's just get that there. Uh, we'll take out the canteen table. We'll replace the table somewhere. 
All right, there we go. They can eat in the corners like that. That should be enough room for them to do it. I don't know. Uh, we'll get rid of this one and we'll blow up that area. Okay, so we're gonna have a kitchen and stuff. We're gonna have to have the power as well. So let's get the power through here. Um, the research is gonna need power as well. Bam. So that's fine. Did we build any other units yet? These guys are gonna have to have some power. We'll do that in a second because I think I have to sculpt this out first anyway. All right. Play. <laughs> Jeez. All right, build this stuff up. We're gonna finish up these floors as well. Uh, the, the final edges are gonna be just walls, so no problem there. All right, now we're going to need a janitor. Uh, quite a few. You can be a janitor. And you can be an engineer in case something breaks for right now. Once we get this food and stuff up, we'll make sure we change your objective. Okay, so I think we got the- yeah, we got the research table going. Let's get a scientist. In fact, let's get both scientists. Oh no, just one's for right now. You can still be a worker, because we only can have one. It's not like both can be on there. Okay, and then we're going to need, uh, water. I forgot the water pipes, which are going to go right back that cool so we're good on that and I think we need to get a cook we need to get a cook actually you can be a scientist you can be a cook whatever let's get some damn research points up in here all right these rooms oop I missed the wall I missed the wall it's the end of the world we're all dead perfect okay we got research points got a few how much is the tempered drill bit again actually keep it going I don't know why I keep stopping it go uh research Timber drill bit 50. Okay, so hurry up with that. All right, so now we're going to put down what we need for the shower pods. Like, uh, two shower pods. Uh, you know what? Let's let's not do it right there. That looks stupid. That looks so stupid. Uh, two shower pods should suffice for right now. I don't think we're going to need more than that, but because uh, we need to save our uh, resources. So one, two right there, and then the bathrooms can be on the opposite side one two three just in case we need it and I want to give up some points so we can have bunk beds immediately so I don't waste any uh product these things are gonna need someone was saying that they needed um power cable but as you can see you don't need it it's literally just water so no worries there guys do not worry your little butts there we go and those should connect next to each other so that should be fine perfect all right how much food do we have left uh, 36. So we're doing fine. We're gonna have- we're gonna break out this area once we can actually get rid of these, uh, ores and we can make a uh, farming area out there. This is gonna be the mining area right here. Hopefully we're gonna have enough materials to do all this. We're running low right now, but I need to make sure that my cabins don't break apart. This, it's crazy how, like, they get this bloodlust. Like, whenever a creature pops up, they all stop what they're doing and then destroy that thing. It's ridiculous. All right, so I'm gonna do a weird kind of, like, roundabout here to get to the point. Uh, if you guys kind of understand what I'm doing. It's a little weird, but I'll make it work. All right, so we're losing- we won't have a bit of power. I don't think we built the power just yet, but I- I can't even be certain if that's the problem. I hope it is. Okay, so that's what we're doing. If that makes any sense. All right, and then we're gonna put down the dead tiles all around so that way we don't have to worry about cave-ins. Boom! So all the rooms are basically done. Uh, we have enough research points now. We're gonna do the timber drill bit. And then, where's the bed? Uh, bunk bed is 40, so we're actually almost there. That would be really cool to have that. Alright, so for the timber drill bit, let's go ahead and bust out this area back here for farming. Oh wait, I can't do this one yet. Ah, shit, I need a level 2. That's fine, we can at least sculpt this out right now. That should be wide enough. We can always extend. Boom. Okay, so now these guys don't have power for some reason. Power cable. Oh. Oh, that's right. I didn't do it. I'm an idiot. I thought I had done it already, but I'm a dumbass, so that's a thing. I thought I had done it. That's my problem. I always forget. Okay, so we can get those powered and make some more stuff. We're going to need the refinery, which sits on, if I'm not mistaken, I actually don't know, so give me a second. Uh, concrete floor, so two by three, we can actually put that, uh, I would put it right there, but that's not gonna work out so well. Uh, we could destroy this wall, I know we just built it, um, and then put it in the surrounding areas. Can we? Uh, let's do it back here. So, these two, three, and then put walls all around. So, that should work, uh, I think. Yeah, one here, one here, uh, one here, one here. And we're gonna have to destroy this one. I think this should work. Go. And this will go- I'll go ahead and put down the concrete for this one. One, two, three. 
Whenever you guys are done, let me know. Oh, there we go. Boom. Okay, so now we're going to need the power cables, which should run directly. I'll put it, yeah, right there should be fine. And then I don't think we have enough for the refinery, do we? We do not. We need 120. We are only at 12. Okay, that's good. So I actually had made a mistake again. I probably should have only have one of these right now. Let's go ahead and disassemble this one. Uh, hurry, I'm going to speed up this one just so we can get it faster. Because we don't have enough materials. I'm going to have to break down some stuff. We got to research more stuff. Oh, we need the beds. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade the beds. Bunk beds. But we don't have enough to build it yet. We got to make sure we get this refinery. Okay, so we have 112. Now we can just pull up a few more things. What do we not need? What do we not need? What did I build extra? The cabin. Let's go ahead and disassemble. Or the uh, cabin. Toilet cabin. Disassemble that, please. There we go. 142. All right, now we can do the refinery. Sorry about that, guys. I know you guys are probably pissed off. But that's just how things are. All right, we're going to build it. Go. I got to build extra power cables over here since we got rid of that one. For right now, we'll change it once we get the other one rolling. All right, let's go normal speed now. All right, there we go. Now we got power going. I actually was... I made a huge mistake. I'm an idiot. But I thought for some reason, since they're glowing green, that these were powered. And I'm an idiot. I don't know why I thought that. All right, so we're going to start making some product. That's good. We got enough food for a little bit. Uh, right over here may not be a good idea. Uh, we have enough to research. Let's go ahead and uh, research some food. We need to We need to definitely grain patch, uh, fish aquarium, uh, and fruit. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have all three. Why not? All right, so we're going to need some janitors. More than a few. So let's just go ahead and put these guys up. We're going to have you as a farmer and you as a farmer. Uh, you can be... A jan- uh, no. Two janitors and three workers should be fine for right now. And I'm gonna start building stuff over here. We're getting low on water. Next priority should be- let's go ahead and get three embryos going. Uh, the next priority should be that we get, uh, an extra water pump around to make sure we have enough. We can start building bunk beds soon. How much do those actually cost? I cannot remember. Just 30. But we have we don't have that much, so we're just gonna keep building up some. All right, let's look at farming. Grain patch, uh, these have to be on metal. Apparently, the center points needs to be on metal. Everything else can be normal. Uh, I'll put this one right here. It only takes 60, uh, and then it needs four, I think, metal floors. So let's do that real quick and see if I can't get that other tempered drill bit. Where's that at? Level two, 75. No, we gotta, we gotta, it's gonna be fine. Let's at least get the grain patch going because we can build that right now with our materials. Uh, I think that's going to be important to have. All right, there we go. Build a grain patch. That's fine. And fill the rest in with... All right, these are going to be walls, actually. Ooh. And we're going to have to extend this out. That's fine. Extend that out. Red. Red. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so let me go ahead and disconnect one of the water. Should be fine. All right, I think we're good on water now. We're not going <sighs> to... See, this is where it becomes a little bit complicated because I gotta I gotta wait to save up some materials to build an extra water pump. It's gonna be super important that we have that. We're gonna need some power too, but the water pump, let's see. Water pump needs 150, so we're almost there. Concrete floor for a 2x2, two two, which I can put pretty much anywhere. I can even put it right there, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna put this back here. So let's just make a little area for the water pump. Uh right here will be fine and we'll carve out these to make walls and that should be good so go ahead and do that we'll save up some material uh concrete floor two by two right there perfect for the water pump then we'll get beds guys i promise we'll get beds in so you guys aren't sleeping on the damn floor all right i'm gonna do normal speed now build that up and then we'll just wait for 150. Uh, we can go ahead and connect the power cables i think It'd be important to do that uh, i may not be able to even this might be hard to connect can I go right through? Oh, I can go right through. That's good. That's good. All right. Build up. Get up. Get up those materials, man. We need more stuff. 150, man. That's all we need is 150. Could get the big water pump, but uh, I only made room for this. Ooh, the mole man. Hi, buddy. Residents are starving. I know. I know. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Trying to get make sure I get enough for this to get water so I can even pump the grain patch. It's important that we have that. Okay, there we go. Water pump. Build it up. I'll turn this one on. We'll be okay. I'll start building the other things over here. Straight to the kitchen. Can I? Not enough building materials. Alright, that's fine. Hurry up. Hurry up. I've got the water pump is gonna need power. 
Uh, ba 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 ba. We may not have enough materials, but it should be okay. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. We do have enough materials. Perfect. All right, hurry up and build it. I know you guys hate the, f the super fast forward, but I need to make sure this is all working well. What's the matter? The wall is being attacked. Which wall? Oh, over here? Uh, that's not good. We're gonna have to de-carve these. Cannot disassemble. Well, great. This guy's being a dick over here. What an asshole. We'll fix that eventually. All right. We got new babies. We got new babies. The water pump should be built. Oh, we're trying to- oh, we can't get to that thing, can we? We can't get to that specific one right there. All right, we're gonna have to tear these down. Tear them down. Build the-, the I'm not building extra pipes. That's just stupid. All right, now build that thing, and then we'll build the walls. There we go. Perfect! All right, grain patch should be powered. I don't know why it's not. What am I doing wrong? Oh, we can't get to that one. What the hell, dude? I'm gonna have to- let's get rid of this wall. Wait, cannot be disassembled. What is it then? Cannot be disassembled. Why not? There we go. Okay. Get rid of that, and you should be able to build the extra pipe. For both of them. There you go. There you go, and then we'll build the wall back. Kind of unnecessary. Build the other one. Boom! Perfect! Alright, so we have enough water and we have enough power. We're getting some food. The farmer should be there. There we go. Fantastic. Now the shower is back on and it keeps saying, Residents need a shower pod. Uh, they definitely have shower pods. Uh, and they're definitely working because I noticed that they're working. I don't know why. It just says it's not occupied. The arrow, the door's right there. I don't know why the glitch is happening. Anyway, we got some materials. Let's go ahead and build a few bunk beds to make sure people, uh, sleep well. Because that's- it's very important that we do that. We can do three, I think. Yes. Build them up. Residents are starving. Yeah, sure they are. We got food on here. You say they're starving, but nobody's eating it. Right now. They get no bonus, but it's definitely food. It'll be okay. Now we gotta build- this is a grain- this is grain, right? Yeah, grain. So we're getting our grains back up. And then we can build an extra fridge out here somewhere. Uh, research the tempered drill bit, uh, diamond drill bit too. Fuck it. And then we'll carve out the rest of this. Bam, bam, bam. And then we can make some more stuff here, some coolers, or freezers, excuse me, and then other farming stuff so we can have a, uh, have a good run. Man, this has been all business this episode, man. Nothing, uh, too crazy has been happening. Alright, babies are growing of age. Everything is pretty much okay. For right now, I'm gonna build another refinery so we get more building materials quicker. Build some more stuff over here, store some fish and whatnot for freezers. And then we'll just keep on adding on. Hopefully get to cycles 50, right? Yeah, we're at 5 right now. We're doing okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more tips or suggestions, post them in the comment section below. Sorry about the episode. It was straight to business. I know some of you guys are in it for the enjoyment of my commentary. My absolutely gorgeous commentary. <laughs> but uh, sometimes you just really got to focus on the game. Thanks again for watching, guys. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.